All right, everyone, we're back. Um, the capacitor in this thing was discontinued. So I got another one with the same specs from Packard. Uh, it's another um, start capacitor. And we had to put in a resistor array for bleeder to be equivalent to the old one. And then we reattached the leads. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing attached back in its original position. So it should be blue there with the other blue wire and then brown here. So, all right, so we did a quick test, um, but um, I didn't have the camera rolling. And so we've got it connected, as you can see, blue to blue there. I may have to remove, or I should say move those wires around to get it to go back, get the capacitor to go back on the underside of that thing. But um, I wanna go ahead and show you the test before we go we move on. I have already kicked the power back on and we're gonna hit the on switch. All right, everyone. So there's the capacitor. Um, it is actually still good. Uh, if you want to see, hold on, I will show you. So there's the capacitor. It is fine. Um, we had made a resistor bank to try to get a bleed resistor in there. Uh, on short notice, and the resistor bank could not handle the uh, wattage that was going through it, so it toasted the resistors. But capacitor is fine. Um, we're going to either have to make a new resistor bank or just order some resistors in. Uh, the resistors were way, lead time, way out, and so we tried to make do, you know. Anyway, um, so on that note, uh, I'm going to go after making a new resistor bank that can hold a little more wattage, and then we will um, do this again. All right, so I've got a different resistor, and we are now going to check and make sure that this is what we want it to be. So first I'm gonna test First, I'm going to test the capacitor and it is where it's supposed to be at. And then I'm going to check resistance. That's the capacitor doing its thing. It's gonna discharge here in a second. We'll see what it is. Okay, and that's also where I expect it to be. So at this point, um, let's put the thing on there and uh, see how it works out. All right, so we've got uh, a new resistor put in there, rated at higher wattage. Um, the resistor bank I tried to pull off didn't quite work. So we're about to find out if that did the trick. So. And it's running, and nothing's catching fire. So that's always a good sign. So I'm turning it off, because I did this once last time and everything turned out good. And I want to make sure it lasts for multiple cycles. So it's not good to short cycle a compressor, but uh, doing it once or twice won't kill it. So it's been about five minutes. Um, decided not to short cycle it. It's not a good thing to do. And let's see how this thing works out. So I'll kick it again. And everything's starting and running like we expect it to. So at this point, I just need to um, put that back together and bolt everything back in. And we should be good to go. Um, assembly is 
opposite of disassembly on this, so I'm not going to make a video of it. So she's been running for a little bit now, doing good. Um, I will note one thing, make sure that you screw in all the non-common screw holes, so like this one, and this one, and uh, the one down in the corner here, and that one there, before you try to put the top on, otherwise it gets really, really difficult to get that thing on. Um, all these obviously have to be uh, have to be kept loose because the uh, the top goes over those and then into that. Um, this I haven't aligned this panel yet, so this panel's off. Um, keep the screws just slightly loose enough where you can align the panel. Mine were a little bit too tight, um, and then you'll want to go back and tighten those up when you're done, and that way you can try to get these in better alignment for when you put the front on so looks like yep, there it is right there so all right well um, it's been running good uh, I've started and stopped it several times now no problems so at this point I would say she was fixed um, it cost me roughly well I think the capacitor was 20 bucks and the resistor was another five because I had to buy a pack of them um, so I'm in it uh, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes of total time, and um, I'd say an hour, 45 minutes if you count the time I spent trying to find parts, and then, uh, you know, just a few parts. So that actually saved me about four grand of having to buy a new one, which is what would have been recommended if they come up here to see it, because it's old, so. Anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful to someone else. Maybe save them some money. You know, keep American manufacturing profitable. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks.